Welcome back to Out and About Today. I'm Brent Meredith, and we're picking right back up with this week's Buzz About. I'm still joined by my co-host Chuck Long and our special guest attorney and activist Kevin Teets. Hello, guys. Again, how are Lots you? Lots to talk about. There is still. <laughs> so here. one of the things that I, I teased before the break was I wanted to mention this. So this year's bathroom bill. We've seen this come and go for the last few years, but I just thought that this year's was kind of almost funny in a way. Um, do you know what I'm about to say here? Because you seem like you're ready to talk about it. I just want to say, can we let gay people pee in peace? <laughs> I know. Can, I mean, can, can, we be, can, we be, can we be done with this? Yes. The fact that we're having to say this year's bathroom I bill, know, just again. let it go. How many, at, at least the last three, four at years? At least, yeah. I mean, I feel like yeah. we talk about it, yeah, every every cycle we talk about it. But this year, this is interesting, so I want to make sure I get this correct. Um, so, in fact, the, an amendment was added before the scheduled deliberations on the bill um, on both in both the House and the Senate subcommittees, and it stripped any reference to gender at all. So now the, 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 the bill merely says that the aforementioned venues are places where you might ex uh, expect indecent exposure to, to not happen, can occur, and should be property penalized. So basically, it just cannibalized itself. And even Chris Sanders, you know, TEP uh, um, president, said, you know, well, okay, let's pass it. You know, like indecent exposure is a bad thing. We probably nobody should be doing it. You know, it just. Right. But I mean, they got. I guess. The, I guess all of that to say, did they get out of it what they normally get out of it? Did they get the political capital that they wanted out of it? Do you feel like? I don't know that there's any political capital <laughs> left on <laughs> this. Kind of like, you know, <laughs> during the next vote, are we going to bring this up again? And they forgot to put in the the right wording, and so it becomes moot. Anyway? I, I mean, I don't know. I just feel like so much is a, they throw so much at us to, to busy us with the with the nonsense, right. so they can deal with the other things. You know, right. the, we can talk about school vouchers and some other things if we if we had the time. But it just goes to show you, it was clearly a charade. I mean, the whole right. thing was just a right. parade. But anyway, so speaking of, of of elections coming up and more politics, uh, Kevin, I know this is a big part of why I wanted to ask you here. You've got we've got something interesting to show here in a minute. But um, our good old friend Carol Swain is back in the mayor's race. Um, we remember this from the uh, the um, special election last year. Right. Um, so she's back in, and I, I'm going to let you talk a little bit because we've got something we want to show. Um, sure. uh, your reaction to her running, though, Kevin. Sure. Well, so I started a, a pack with a couple of friends of mine, um, and we're just basically saying that uh, there's Carol right there. Uh, we're we're not going to put up with Carol Swain's uh, her antics, her uh -huh. rhetoric, um, and Carol's not right for Nashville. Well, um, remember, remind us real quick what she has said in the past. I mean, there's been some well, terrible things. She said and there's been ma many terrible things, including uh, calling homosexuality a disease. Mm -hmm. um, she's blasted the Islamic community. She's uh, said that Black Lives Matter, um, despite her being an African American uh, candidate, an African American person, that Black Lives Matter is. Uh, not needed. I mean, she's there's not many um, uh, groups of minority uh, interest or minority status that she hasn't that she hasn't bashed. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we've uh, started started a pack, and we're gonna you know we're gonna say that Carol's not right for Nashville, and um, we're gonna be selling some uh, T-shirts, yard signs, and mm -hmm. uh, logos and everything to uh, to help raise some money for some good causes, um, and and to, to make a message very. There's clear. the uh, graphics right there. I think right. I think these are just the prototypes, right? You've got a little bit of work right. left to right. do on we've those. Got a, we've got a little bit of left to, to do it, but uh, uh, we're gonna say uh, not to not today, Carol. dot com is where <laughs> we're gonna have uh, some of these uh, items available uh, for people to purchase to say that we're not gonna stand for Carol's rhetoric, um, and she's. Nashville is better than this, and Nashville needs uh, options for a, a new mayor. Well, and just on a personal note, I, I found this a little interesting. I, when I was looking up some information on her and doing a little bit of research, she was uh, fairly recently quoted in an RT.com um, article, and so you know, whenever that Russia Today is, <laughs> is quoting you and, and using you as a as a as a source, there's maybe a little something out of out of touch with what's going on in reality. But anyway, I'm I'm, I'm going to be looking forward to maybe purchasing a couple of sure. <laughs> those things from you as we roll into the election. Um, I kind of wanted to sort of end, if you will, on a more positive note. This is something that's been really heartwarming. We saw some of this last year, and we've seen this across the country. I think you've done a couple segments on this in other areas where people have banded together. But the National Fire Department, I think most people watching tonight have probably seen this because the story has traveled almost around right. the world. Um, but one of the uh, one of the groups within the fire, uh, it's Fire Station 2 um, during B-Shift, so I want to make sure I got that right, give them credit, um, has created this T-shirt, and they're selling it to raise money. I think we've got a picture of the shirt here um, to show. Um, but Chris Sanders, executive uh, director of the TEP, said that they're grateful to learn that the fire department has designated uh, the TEP. Oh, there it is, the Tennessee Equality Project Foundation, which is their um, nonprofit arm, uh, fundraising arm, as the beneficiary of the new Pride shirt. So anytime one of these shirts um, is sold, uh, the money is going to go to the TEP Foundation. It says members of the National Fire Department will also be able to wear their shirts on duty during June during Pride Month. Um, so that's just such a nice thing to see. You know, I think we've uh, after the, the police department had their, uh, we had Katie Poole on, I think there was a big call for wanting a car to get wrapped. So, I mean, it's, it's just nice to see right. more and more. So what did what did you feel when you first saw that, Chuck? I mean, did it just warm your heart? or did Absolutely. You I mean, you know, and, and just, and you mentioned where you can buy them. Uh, you actually can buy them right now. Uh, they're available for purchase at the fire station two during B shift, which is Monday, Thursday, and next Sunday. And they hope to uh, have more ways to purchase them uh, leading up to Pride, which yeah. is absolutely terrific. Um, 
But that said, just to know, you know, I mean, the fire department has done so much, and just them being able to come out and say that, yes, when we wear these during Pride, I think everything about it is good. Uh, this is nothing but a positive story. I love everything about it. I yeah. know, right? I mean, it's it, really good. Yeah, and, and it didn't take a, a, a it wasn't a, a positive story on the heels of something negative. Right. That the right. fire department had done. This wasn't a, you know, It wasn't a, per, a reactionary right, PR thing. This wasn't yeah. an apology tour, so to speak. I mean, this is just uh, people that, um, and it didn't, it doesn't sound like it came from the top down. It sounds like it was people that are, you know, actually, uh, uh, firefighters on on that shift that came up with the idea and, and for them to be leaders among their peers and everything else and it's just a yeah it's a great positive story so, it yeah. really is I, I just it just touched my heart to see it and I think I was reading in the uh, out and about article that there was a uh, uh, several folks that had, had, had written in and were asking you know can I buy these online where can I get these from a far as far away as Australia and, and other countries you know just wanting to show their support because you know everybody as we said earlier has seen the stories about yeah. what's coming out of Tennessee and no, so. and no greater organization to be the beneficiary of that too I mean Tennessee Equality Project they, they have been in the trenches for years, um, yeah. you know, Chris Sanders especially, and Jenny Ford and, and several others, I mean, have been working their tails off um, fighting back legislation. So, I mean, it's great to see that there's a, that they're the beneficiary of this. They so. really have, and that's, I, I kind of wanted, I'm glad you transitioned into that, because one, one of the last things that we got about a minute left, I just wanted to talk a little about TEP, because we have Chris Sanders on a lot. Um, he's so busy, we haven't had, get, had a chance to have him on yet this year. Um, but there's so many things that people can do to support that organization. They can buy this shirt. Um, I do the Amazon Smile donation, so right. if you set up Amazon Smile, you can donate uh, a portion of what you're purchasing goes through same with, with Kroger I believe yeah, with Kroger, with, yeah. uh, and, and so I mean every little bit of that helps um, and I, I actually we had someone comment on our Facebook page the other day when we I posted an article about um, LGBT immigrants being mistreated in, in detention centers and they said you know what can we do and it was like you can support these organizations that's really mm -hmm. the best thing to do mm -hmm. so you've got Tennessee Equality Project you've got the Victory Fund you've got HRC you've got National Pride I mean what do you guys like to do where do you like to donate your money and your time if you will I'm for I'm for local I mean yeah, local me stuff too. I mean you know I, I'll go to the HRC galas and events and everything but uh, you know the, the fact of the matter is a lot of that money goes to places other than Tennessee yeah which we need those fights everywhere I'm not uh, diminishing that in any way but um, right here at the Tennessee General Assembly uh, Tennessee General Assembly the, the legislature here uh, fighting back the bad bills that are here in Tennessee. I mean, there's no better place than Tennessee Equality Project. I'm going to cut you off again because we're out of time. I'm sorry. You got off, you <laughs> got off talk easy about this Valley. week. Uh, that's true. You very much do. And when we come back, TPAC's Christy Dorch will be here with Chuck uh, for a preview of Hella Dolly. Coming to uh, TPAC's Jackson Hall April 30th through May 5th. So stay with us.